Alright guys, this is Julian today. I have something to tell you guys. So as you guys can see, this is my Windows tablet, which is upgrading the Windows back to Windows 10 again. Because guess what happened? Yeah guys, that's right. What what my tablet had an issue in Windows 10 after I did the November update that the next cumulative update for Windows 10 would not install. It kept failing with the same error code. It was like 0x8007371 and it's saying the component store something was corrupt. Um, I think it was like yeah the component store was corrupt and I've tried everything. I tried the Windows Update standalone installer. I tried resetting Windows Update. I tried um, restarting the actual tablet. Um, I've tried a bunch of tools like the update troubleshooter which said um, the um, something was missing or corrupt, a uh, service registration is missing or corrupt and it wasn't fixed. It said not fixed so it wouldn't it wouldn't work. So that happened. I couldn't find a way to get it successfully updated so I said you know what I'm just gonna back up all my files and reset the tablet in which I backed them up to an SD card and I did take it out just in case it was going to do something to it. And I went into settings on the Windows 10 and went to the, um, what was it, like, up, like, secure, update and secure, or security and recovery, something like that, or update and security, I think is what it was. And went to the recovery thing and it said reset your PC, I believe. So I went into there and I clicked reset and it mentioned, okay, do you want to like keep your files or reset the whole thing? And I said, yeah, I want to reset the whole thing. Um, and it said, it did mention something like it was going to reinstall the ver version of Windows that came on this PC. And I'm thinking, what? Like, does it mean it's going to reinstall Windows 8? Because I, I don't think it would do that. So I think, no, it's probably just saying that. It's probably not really going to do that because... You know, this tablet, I heard that you only have 30 days in order to go back to your previous operating system and then you can't anymore. And when I, before when I went to disk management, it had like three recovery partitions in which all appeared empty. A 4 gig one, or almost 5 gigs it said was 100% free space, and like two 400 and something megabyte ones which had 100% free space. I was worried it wasn't going to reset saying there's nothing to res restore to. But it did, and I hit reset, and it said restoring to factory settings, blah blah blah, blah, blah percent, and it, it got to 100, and went back on, and I you know, re like set it up, and I was like, this looks like when I first got it. And when it ended up going to the main screen, it was on Windows 8.1. And I'm just thinking, what? It went back to 8.1. It wasn't kidding about going, p going back to Windows that was installed on it. It was not kidding. And I was just shocked. Because with Windows 10, I heard you can't go back to your previous version within 30 days, as I said. So how did it do that? And how would it when it said the recovery partition was completely empty? I am so confused. I think it was lying. I think it wasn't really empty. You think if you'd reset it in the settings, the Windows 10 settings, it would just reset Windows 10. It wouldn't actually go back back like I'm so confused I just don't understand why it did that I, I'm just like baffled like how did that happen what kind of glitch is this this is like the weirdest most ridiculous thing I've ever seen in my life on on like windows so like what a windows fail so when it came back on I downloaded the media creation tool and I noticed something interesting about the media creation tool. You know how, I don't know if you guys know, but I used the media creation tool to update my Windows 10 computer to the Windows 10 November update when Windows update wasn't giving me the update. And it did work. But on the download, 
underneath it or like right above it, it said you can't use this download to update Windows 10 devices to the November update. So now I'm just like, I updated my computer to the November update using this method and now it says you can't. And I'm really confused because it's just like an OS upgrade. Like why wouldn't you be able to do that now? So I heard they got rid of, in the November update, on the updating window screen, the sit back and relax. But you can see it's there. It is blurry. I'll include a screenshot right about now. And then you, you guys can see, see it still says sit back and relax on here. And I did go online and generally when you're updating to the newer build, regardless if you're doing like an update, just updating the regular operating system like Windows 7 or 8 to 10, or just upgrading from the existing Windows 10 version to the new one. And I saw an upgrading Windows screen. When it says upgrading, it means it's coming from a, a previous version of Windows. And it didn't have the sit back and relax. One of them didn't and one of them did. I think if you update through Windows Update, it will update to the November update. However, if you update through the Media Creation tool, I think it doesn't. And that's one indicator I can tell that it does not update to the November update anymore through the Media Creation tool. And I think Microsoft did this because I think too many people were using this, this tool to update Windows 10 computers to the, to the November update. And I think they want it to be a staged rollout. So to be honest, I think Microsoft's doing that now because too many people did that. Or maybe they noticed things weren't working properly when people did that. Oh, uh, my computer seems fine though. So now I'm worried because I heard you have to wait 30 days in order to get that update as it says, and I'll include a screenshot right about now. You guys saw it says you have to wait 30 days after you upgrade from a pre previous version of Windows in order to get this update, which is now making me think, well, that means since I had to do all this, I have to wait 30 days to update the November update now. And that makes me really angry because Windows 10 is so much better with the November update and it's how Windows 10 should have been when it first came out. So the fact that I won't be able, I have to wait 30 days in order to update it unless I can find some kind of workaround to possibly delete the previous version. I'm really mad. I'm starting to think if I should just reset it again and use Windows Update. Like if I can't find a way, I think I'm just going to try that because it it's really makes me mad. Now I don't know for sure if it really isn't going to update to that or not. I mean, I really don't know, but the fact to sit back and relax is there, and I saw the screen without it upgrading and the updating without it, and I saw upgrading Windows with it before and without it, which is making me think that this is the older build since it says that. So I'm just starting to think, why would Microsoft not let you use the media creation tool to update it anymore, and why would they get rid of the update in the media creation tool? Because I have no idea. Now I don't know this for sure, I will make another video showing you what version it is on and me trying to update it, which will be in this video. But if it's not on the November update and it doesn't give it to me, I am not going to be happy. At least they didn't do this a long time ago so I can get my other computer up, my regular computer updated. But that's just ridiculous. I feel like Microsoft's getting kind of ridiculous with certain things. So, I just thought I'd tell you guys this. It's kind of crazy. So, I'm just going to probably come back when this is done upgrading. So, thanks for watching for now. Okay, guys, I'm back. And I actually went into Windows Update and did some updates. And a cumulative update requires a restart. But what do you notice about this cumulative update? It doesn't say for version 1511. Yeah. You want to know what Microsoft did? I was right. They did not give me the November update in the in the media creation tool. And I'm going to show you how I know they didn't. 
So first of all, you can see is that I have the colors on the bottom and it shows the colors. And, oh yeah, wondering what's new, I don't care. You're not giving me the new update, so I don't really care. You can see the settings icon is not the newer icon. The Windows Store, I believe the icon was different. And when you're in an application, like, let's go to Internet Explorer for this example, or Control Panel. The, the color is still white on the top of that. It's not blue. And I do have all the correct settings to show it. I'm not going to do transparency though. You can see that is not, this color, there is no color on this bar. There is no color on that. Neither is there color here at all. And I went to the system, not system properties, the, well I did go to the system properties on the computer itself, or the tablet. Nowhere does it say version 1511 at all and it's supposed to say it under here but it doesn't it doesn't say it in here at all it's not here it would say it next to Windows 10 home it doesn't yeah and you know, I did have the the 10586 version build of the media creation tool on my computer. Look at this. It's the old one. You can clearly see it's it, my camera's blurry. I want to put a screenshot right about now. Okay, you guys saw. It's the old one. Yeah. This is the old version of the media creation tool, um, as you can see. So, Microsoft, why would you take out the, the November update in the media creation tool? It does not even make any sense. Like, and when you go, here's the real proof. Go to a command prompt with admin. Old build. Old build. You can see it. There's a blurry. I'll put a screenshot in right now. Yeah. Old build. Ridiculous. I don't know why they did this. Now, I'm not going to always call them stupid because they're Microsoft, but they're not stupid. They're just ridiculous. Because I think... As I told you, I think I know why they did this, but now they're going to make me wait 30 days to get the update. Kind of ridiculous. So, yeah. And now it's not even wanting to go back. And it wouldn't give me the update in here before. Let's just reboot. <laughs> Let's just reboot. Um, and you can see it's restarting. Yeah, I'm thinking if I should reset it again and go back to 8, if it even does that again, because it may not even glitch like that now that I did the media creation tool. I feel like it may not go back to 8 now. Um, so I'm just going to try to figure out a workaround, try to delete the previous version of Windows. Maybe delete the Windows BT folder. Oh, my camera's about to run out of memory now, so I'm just warning you. Alright guys, I'm recording on my phone now because my camera died, but I just think it's kind of ridiculous they did this, but I'm sure I can find a workaround for this, but it's kind of silly they took that out. I'm just kind of upset right now because I wanted the new update, so they're just being silly and s silly and stuff. I really don't want to call them stupid because... 
they are a good company. They just made a stupid move. They're not stupid, but they made a stupid move. But maybe they did it for a certain reason. I think I'm going to go actually ask them. Um, I, I'm going to try not to be mad about this. and This is updating, so I'm going to try to find some workarounds. And I'm actually going to also show you the actual other file that I had in the media creation tool, which was the other build. And, yeah. So, I'm going to include a screenshot of the media creation tool with the other build right about now. And you guys just saw that I did have the other build, and now they got rid of it and put the old one back. I'm just curious on, as to why they did this. I think I know, but I'm, I think I'm going to ask them. And if you guys ask them and get a response, please let me know what the response is, because I'm curious. So, anyways, I'll be back. Hopefully I can figure this out, because I'm not sure if I restore, if it's going to even go back to 8 again. Because I think that was a goof up. I don't think it was really supposed to. So, anyways. Because this tablet was kind of glitched after the Windows 10 upgrade. The libraries, it showed libraries over here still. And every time you open them, it would crash. And think weird things kept happening. So I feel like that was maybe a corrupt install of 10. Or at least the build, the new build, corrupted it in some way. So, yeah, guys, thanks for watching for now, and I'll be, be back with another video. Guys, I thought maybe I would try this, which is deleting the previous version of Windows. I've not checked for another update because I want to delete this first, and I'm thinking if I delete this, it may let me get the upgrade again. So let's hope that that does something. After I do that, I think I might download CCleaner and clean it out and all that and reboot and then go back to Windows Update and see if it gives me the update because I personally like Windows 10 much better with the update. I think it looks a lot nicer. I was not a big fan of the white the white toolbar or white top bar up here. I was not a big fan of that. I don't like that at all. It just looks too plain. It doesn't look right. With the colors, it looked much better. So I'm hoping, because they say you only have thir like 30 days, you have to tell you could get the update if you have this. But these are d the files are deleted after 30 days. So if you delete the files yourself, I feel like it will give it to you, because they're not there. So that's what we're going to try. And even though on my other computer there was no previous version, it still wouldn't let me update, which is scary. Because I really don't think this is going to work, to be real honest. And if it does, it's going to probably take a few days in order for this to work. So guys, I'll be back in a little bit before, and right when I'm going to check for an update again. Alright, so I did all that, but you know what else I'm going to do is, this, as, is what else is what I'm going to do. Is I'm going to delete the windows.old folder, just so there's no evidence that it was ever there. Oh, it's not letting me delete it. What what program is it open by? You know, just do this. Oh, it's not gonna let me delete it. I don't want any evidence there. I wonder why you can't delete it because there's not even anything in here. Like, really? Continue. Let's do a reboot and try to delete it again. I don't know why they're doing that with that. Why well, it's not letting me delete that folder when there's like nothing in there and it's just the old version. However, I've heard of one time someone deleted the folder and their whole computer crashed, even though it was Windows.old. But I'm not sure. That really happened or not? 
I wonder if my camera's blurry. Or it's just, I think it's just the tablet. But, I still want that folder gone because it shouldn't have anything to do with it. And I think I've deleted it a long time ago. But I think because, um, maybe because I, I was deleting it before. And somehow it was still being in use. I'm not a big fan of this tablet view. So I'm going to... I'm going to take that off. Let's try this again. It's still not going to let us... That little thing. I will run Sea Cleaner again, though. Which I already ran. But I think I forgot to do the registry part. The screen looks a little different. I think it's smaller. What did that clean? Hmm. Oh wow, lots of DLL errors. So now we're going to check Windows Update. And see if it gave us the update. Probably not. I wish it did. I really wish it did. Because I want this update. But it's probably just going to say up to date to us. Because I can't delete that Windows.old folder. It's not going to let me. Even though I deleted the previous version. I can't delete the windows.old folder, which is ridiculous. All that checks. There is that weird windows WS thing. But I can't delete windows.old. What's this? ESD. There's where windows is. Wait a minute. It's showing like files from like September in here. Yeah, let's see what this one is. It's still the 10240 build. But uh, that's interesting. So now it does. So now I don't think I could go back to 8 again. I think that was a goof up. And this is the Windows WS folder. Which. Still. Windows update probably says up to date, so let's check. Yep. Of course. So now I don't know how I'm going to get the update because it's still got those other folders. So when I hit reset, I don't think it's going to reset to 8 again. I think it's going to reset to 10. But maybe if I do reset it to 10, it's not going to consider there's a previous version anymore. And it may delete the windows.old. So I'm going to do some research maybe. And I might consider resetting it even regardless if it goes to 10 again. Or if it goes to 10 this time. Because it may get rid of windows.old. If I hit reset completely. Which will act like a fresh install of windows 10 then. So I'm going to stop the video because actually it would work better than an upgrade install. So I think I'm actually going to do it. I don't think it's going to go back to 8 this time because you noticed in there. So thanks for watching guys for now and bye bye for now. Guys it's Juliet. I'm back and I did do some research about how um, the media creation tool did the old update, the old build. 
and discovered, yeah, Microsoft pulled the update from it. It's all over the news. And that it happened today. Go figure. Today. This morning. So, well, obviously it's after 12, but I mean, like, actually, like, the 21st morning. They got rid of the update. That is just unbelievable. And apparently they did it because, like, they thought maybe people wanted, like, people thought at first it was because of a security issue or something wrong with the update. And people thought it was pulled from Windows Update as well. But then again, Microsoft finally says something and says, because they want to gradually roll it out through Windows Update. Yeah, they want people to gradually get it, not download the ISOs right away. They're holding off on all that because they want people to get it gradually. And I think that's stupid. Like, I mean, yeah, it makes sense that, yeah, it'll make the update, you know, like, better to where it won't have as many glitches and people will get it, you know, slowly, like a staged rollout. But people that really want the update right now can't even get it. I can see the normal people, it's still gradually for them, but for the people that really want the update, they should let people get the update. So... I grabbed the media creation tool file from my other computer, and it is the newer one, which you guys saw a screenshot of already. Well, yeah, it is the 10586 version. My camera's blurry, though, on my phone. I don't know why. Oh, there it goes. So... Just out of curiosity, I'm thinking, well, if you still have the old media creation tool and it's not, the update's technically not pulled from their website, we could probably still use this. It'll probably still let us do it through here since I have the 10586 version of it. So we are going to try it in this video and see if it lets us. And hopefully it won't download the other one. Okay. Good thinking I actually kept the tool. I didn't get rid of it. And I'm glad I kept it. Because we are updating through this method and it doesn't even oh yes, it's working. Would you look at that guys? Getting a few things ready. I'm kinda scared though. Cause it's not saying anything else right now. I don't guarantee this is gonna work. Oh my gosh, no way. Upgrade this PC now. Oh my gosh, should I hit it? I'm scared. Should we do it? Go for it. Oh my gosh. Is it legitly working right now? No way. It's 1% now. I think this tool is working. I think it's doing its job. Yeah, guys, we are downloading Windows 10 through the media creation tool right now and the 10586 version. I can't confirm for sure it still may be downloading the old one again, but it'll just update itself to the old build again. I don't know what that's going to do. So I hope this is actually legitly downloading the 10586. Because if it is, that's awesome. I'm so glad I downloaded the tool instead of just running it. Because if I didn't, I'd be out of luck. Because the tool, this version, is off their website. So, yeah. Even though I probably could have downloaded it from somewhere else. But still, I'm so glad that I found this. So I'll be back when it gets further because I think this is going to work. Like, legitly going to work. So I'm going to stop the video. And hopefully after this upgrades, it won't have that weird issue with that cumulative update not downloading. So, as I had with this tablet before. Which wouldn't download this, the um, cumulative update before for, for the Windows 1511. Which I actually am going to put a screenshot. Which shows the, the update error and the update history. And the update from Windows 1 is the one I tried to download through the standalone installer, which didn't work. 
So I'm going to put the screenshot right about now. And you guys just saw that's the reason why I had to completely re reset this tablet. Because I've tried everything, as I said. And earlier, I forgot to mention, I did try like an SFC scan now and the DISM tool, which found no corruptions at all. None of them. It's so weird. It's such a strange air. But anyways, I'm going to stop the video and come back. Hopefully this works. Guys, it actually says ready to install. I don't know what's going to happen when I hit install. We're going to find out. Oh my gosh, I don't know if it's working or not, but it says it's installing. When it goes to restart, I'm going to record another video. Hopefully this works, I pray. Please work. Oh my gosh, it's restarting right now, guys. I don't know what's going to happen. I really hope this worked, because, yeah. If it doesn't have the sit back and relax part, then it probably did, since they removed that in that build. So I guess we're about to find out right now. If I said it's just going to restart several times, I think we got it. I don't know why it's taking so long to restart, but I really hope this worked, because I'm going to be very disappointed if it didn't, since I really want the new update. But yeah, pulling it because they want people to get it through Windows Update stupidest thing I've ever heard. Like, that's a stupid move. Right there. But anyways, at least that, if people, people will eventually get it through Windows Update. If they can't get it this way. Luckily I had that file still. I'm actually so glad I saved it, because I was debating on, oh, should I save this file, or should I just run it? But I saved it just in case I ever needed it. Okay, let's see. Updating Windows. Your PC will restart several times. And there's no sit back and relax. Look at that. Guys, I think it just worked. That already shows it worked. Because it doesn't have sit back and relax. So, yeah, guys. If you still have the media creation tool before they got rid of it, like the 105.86 version, you can download 105.86 right now until they pull that. So I think it's safe to say it's going to work. So I'll just come back after I set it up and all that stuff, and hopefully we'll see a new build. All right, guys, well, I finished updating, and you can see it says all your files are exactly where you left them. And I think that's really a funny message for Windows to say. So, the fact we're seeing that means that, yeah, it did update the new update. Oh, thank God. So, guys, if you have the, the media creation tool before they pulled the build, that one will still download it. So, I got lucky. So, it appears to have gotten the update. And because I know the new build has this funny little message. And it's like, we got some new features to get excited about. Yay! I think it worked, guys. When this logs in, I'll show you the new build and all that. And hopefully I'll be able to get the cumulative update to update, because before it wouldn't. So, I'll be back in a little bit. Well, guys, it looks like it finished updating, and it's giving us this little thing. Except, I do not want tablet mode. So, I'm going to turn it off. So, as you guys can see... It looks like it worked. Let's check the version number. Still don't have the colored bar. Um, maybe we have to go into the settings and go back in here again. Change it. All right, let's see. Yes, it worked! Would you guys look at that? It's got the colored bar now. That's wonderful. So yeah, guys, it looks like it updated. This is awesome. 
So, this thing helped by using the old media creation tool. Because now it's got the older version. Yay, it worked. Would you guys look at that? Version 1511 and a build 10586.11. So, yeah, so glad I got that updated, finally. Let's go back into the settings. Get the cumulative update. One thing I did notice about this is that it got rid of the sea cleaner icon. I don't know if you guys noticed that. What the heck? Did it delete it? Okay, that's weird. Look at that. It was there before the upgrade. You guys saw that. And it's gone. And it's not giving us the cumulative update. Or maybe it was already built in the update. Hmm. That's weird. Oh, wait a minute. It was removed. Because it doesn't work on this version of Windows. What? That's unbelievable. Are you serious? I'm going to take a screenshot of this. Because, let's see what this is. Insider preview. What? I hope it didn't enable insider builds. No, it didn't. I'm going to shake that box. Hmm. See if it gives us the cumulative update. They might have already included it in the update since I updated this after they released that update. So yeah, it looks like my tablet's back in order again. It's just weird how they would remove the update. Or not the update, remove CCleaner from the computer. But it's okay because I'm going to reinstall it. Let's reinstall it. Yeah, I thought I heard something about them removing software from people's computers. I think I've heard about that. I'm not sure why they did it. Because it is compatible. And I did have CCleaner on my other computer and it never removed it. And I updated with the media creation tool as well. And nothing, I don't think, got removed. That I knew of. Which is weird. So I guess it's not going to give us the other update. It was probably already included. Well. Let's just. Let's just see that. Yep. It was already there. Pretty sure that's a update for Microsoft Windows. I think it was already included. I'm not sure if that's the same KB or not. I'm going to have to look. But I think that's it right there. So it was already included. So yeah, this is really strange. You should always run this after you. Um... After you always do these updates because it clears up a lot of junk. I, I always run it twice. And then I use the registry one because it finds a lot. So yeah guys, thanks for watching. That's my adventure with this tablet. Hopefully I won't have any more failed updates. Because it's going to be kind of difficult. 
to deal with failed updates again. That's a weird file. Just keep running it until it finds nothing. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching. And hopefully you guys can get this somewhere that has the newer one. Which I'm sure you can download it from somewhere. So anyways, thanks for watching, guys. And bye-bye for this video. And see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.